Metallic Gear Sold 5 is a game that premiered in theaters in 2016, written by his day-old coat Jim Mom, and like the developers, I did not finish the game all the way. This game follows the chronicles of Large Manager after his mercenary army was blown up by the Illuminati, led by emo Jim Carrey's The Mask, tasked only with revenge in the rebuilding of his private army. The chief of considerable size must struggle against the sub and supernatural in order to stop the son of the mask from being made. But the biggest challenge of our hefty captain is waking up from a coma, a battle which he struggles with for nine years. Until now. You start to wake up from your coma and the nurse freaks out. She goes to get your doctor and he's just like, No problem bro, we already figured out what's wrong with you. You got enough holes in you to make a Spongebob cosplay. You also have more brain damage than Logan Paul. You would have an arm, but there was like a famine eight years back. I don't know why you're freaking out. Due to being in imminent danger from the Illuminati, you decide to redesign your face by turning up all the sliders as far as they can go. This produces a Habsburg abomination who loves Fortnite. Just look how beautiful you are. Bitch, I want a piggyback ride. Oh, fuck. She's doing the crab walk, but do not worry, I have a plan. So this pyromancer named Ishmael comes and picks you up. Only he doesn't help you at all, he just watches. Bro, it's taking you so long. You stumble into a floating kindergartner by accident and then die. Yo, man, you ever seen Fantastic Fucking Four? It's a great movie. Take my word for it. Don't watch it. Just take my word for it. Oh, for suit setting fire to the building has activated this watering mechanism. I am foiled again by my close engine. You flop around after escaping the human torch. Turns out the Illuminati's after you, and they ain't taking chances. You try to hide in a crowd, which is a genius maneuver. Then the human torch shows up again for no reason. Will you ever try shooting the stove? It doesn't work. Yo, dog, you fucking stupid, what did you say? Holy shit, my enemies are such fucking geniuses, how could I predict this? Now it's time to leave the building, the stealthy way. But not before the way is blocked by a psychic child. Why the fuck are you guys all holding your guns sideways? That doesn't make you look cool at all. Alright, fuckers, let's see how it is. I guess I'm just gonna have to sit here and four loudly so that you'll stop shooting me. You're fucking next snake. I see you hiding in the corner of your little baby bitch. Come the fuck out. Then you get an astonishing four seconds of gameplay before the next cutscene. Oh, what the fuck now? Now, snake, it's just me and you. I'm getting real tired of shit. It's one thing with snake. Now not a single automobile can interrupt us. Get in! Oh, you got fucked up now, Snake. So you drive away. Poorly. Very poorly. You start to run away before your friend Ocelot shows up on a horse and he's like, We gotta go! You ride your horse through multiple oceans on your way to Afghanistan without asking even a single question. You think robot arms come for fucking free, Snake? You're my bitch now. I brought you here to rescue, like, an angry guy. He's got one arm or something. Go get him, dude. The year is 1984 and the Soviet Union is invading Afghanistan. And it's up to Giant General to uninvade a village. And then another. Yaliyubiusyatsky Soyuz. You do the sneak shit for a while until you find the man himself, Kazuhira Miller. You put his glasses back on and then kidnap his crippled ass. You converse with him as you conclude your seven mile sprint. But before you can get to the chopper, you are attacked by literal Illuminati zombies who run in fast motion. That was not sped up. The way you escape them is by walking past them, an easy way to get out of the police. On the helicopter ride back, he begins doing the meme speech. Why are we still here? After nine long years, the enormous executive is finally able to return to his mother base and receive, like, 
a really fucking long tutorial on how to run the mother base. He then accidentally throws himself into the ocean and is unfortunately exposed to the horrors of having to learn how to run the mother base again. In order to rebuild our mercenary army, we must do mercenary things such as killing people, blowing them up, and then killing them. You do these things without mercy. We finally get a big break when a man who goes by the code name of Sia pays us to go transfer funds to an unknown schmuck named Bin Laden. The only issue being that, in true American fashion, all of the funds were misplaced into the Petra. Said funds are soon acquired peacefully if you make your escape into the deserts below. Trying to sneak around, but I'm dummy thick, and the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guard. Oh shit, the sneaky guy. So Jim Carrey's The Mask shows up, and he's just like, haha, you're fucking stupid. I, Jim Carrey's The Mask, is the best. I could crush you right now, but I am not. Woohoo, I go in big hand! So he sends the Illuminati zombies after you, and you drive away like a little bitch. <laughs> And that's the mission, it's time for more filler! Kill a man, kill his friends, blow up an armored column, twice! Kidnap young impressionable males and send them to your anime prison in the sea. Set your helicopter music to virtual YouTuber covers. Please collaborate with me, Watabe. You travel the lands of Afghanistan to secure a Soviet scientist until you are shot in the face. You are forced to engage in an elaborate dance with the enemy sniper, just narrowly defeating her by dropping two boxes of supplies directly on her face. Then you kidnap her because she's the first woman you've ever seen in like a decade. And let me tell you, the Metal Gear Solid fanbase is really thirsty. On the way back, a jet shoots at you, but the pilot is blinded by her massive titties. The huge honcho finally returns to Mother Base, but Miller objects to quiet staying, saying that she'll distract the men from their anime rations. Then she teleports, and everyone's like, oh shit, she can fucking teleport. It's time to find that Soviet scientist again. He's in this power plant. How many customers do they have in Afghanistan? Using normal tactics, you get to the inside of the base, but something seems off. We'll need to modify postural control to accommodate a human pilot. I share your urge. You know, I've always wanted to push a crippled guy down the stairs. <laughs> I don't know why you keep thinking that we need a human pilot. I literally have a ghost girl that controls metal. Take him away using the goofy-handed robot. Oh, look at the goofy robot run! So that's all the gameplay we're gonna get for now. Better scan a document, see where the fucker is. He's over there. You get over there, and it's a base. It's a good thing Snake has knowledge of what is and isn't based. You get inside and realize he's trying to develop an AI waifu, which is perfect for your base. But it's a surprise. You use the stupid robot and get to your helicopter. I told you, dude. I got the big robot. I got the ghost. Put the two and two together. Okay, so I'm gonna be running away now. Oh, sweet. It has cannons. That's great. You put them on your horse and then run away like a bitch. By the way, you'll fail the mission if you did, but I just did ignore that, please. You hide from big guy instead at nighttime. You get back to base, and people aren't really happy with him. Turns out he probably caused your base to be destroyed about nine years ago. This makes Miller very mad, so he forces him to do the stanky leg. This scene is genuinely painful to watch. It seems like everyone hates Emmerich, including God, who designed his legs. The plot of this game can be very strange stupid and convoluted. So to summarize, Jim Carrey have ghost and robot and fire. Snake Man have woman named Quiet and man named Emmerich. Their copulation is inevitable. He claims that what they're doing in Africa is the missing piece. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. You find out from Emmerich that the Illuminati is working on something in Africa. So now you're there to find an oil field. What a thrill. You get to the oil field and find a bunch of bodies at the bottom of it. I choose to ignore these bodies while I dick around some more in a place that lacks formal law enforcement. Welcome to Afrika. It's time to sprint around, get wet and wild, visit Ocelot for literally no reason, and go back to my base to creepily watch a woman in a cage. It turns out she can't speak or wear clothes because somebody threw a fiery plate at her. She breathed through her skin, so watch her in the shower. You try to get to your helicopter, but she just shows up. Hey, Snake, how you doing? I know I'm supposed to keep her in the cage, but she's got, like, big fucking Bulbs. Then she shoots the helicopter blades like this. It's finally time to do a real mission. The Illuminati are escorting a truck and you must take it. You blow up the escort and ambush the truck, but it's filled with gamers. But before you die horribly, you notice that they make everybody nearby mysteriously unconscious. The Illuminati are escorting a truck and you must take it. Looks like the tank driver fell asleep, it's mine now.
My truck now, thank you. Really good sign, the truck was filled with nuclear material. It's time to go out there and rescue this guy. He tells you of a mysterious plot of the Illuminati to kidnap children and harvest their adrenochrome. You head to their secret African compound, ensuring that the clap of your ass cheeks doesn't alert the guards. Locating their location, the massive master finds them to be trapped in a mine of miners. Sneaking very carefully, you enter the mine and find the children in a cage. Okay, but seriously, you take them all to your helicopter, but you only have to rescue two of them. My man Bill Clinton needs that eternal life. You take them back to base, and they tell you of a place where people disappear mysteriously. You head to Africa in the Watame helicopter, and the place is covered in fog permanently. Very good sign. You head through a mysterious tunnel, can't really see that backfiring, until you reach the zone. There's no one around, which assures me of its safety. Oh god, what the fuck? They're playing night court to their throats, it's awful. It's like a dance party without the dancing. Snake, I can fucking see you hiding behind that child right there. Do you think you're like fooling me? Do you think I can't see you? What are you doing? Fine then, I guess I'll just have to unplug this guy's life support with a bullet. Bitch, you're next. Actually, just kidding. I got the fire guy, so I might as well use him. So you run away because his only method of attack is slowly walking. I'm supposed to be the crippled person. So you do a boss fight with the human torch, but I figured out how to beat him in like two seconds. Hint, it involves water. That was a pretty huge buildup for, like, a shitty boss. The oversized overseer comes back home to see all the children that he didn't rescue. Sorry, kids, your parents died listening to Nightcore. Later, bitches. It's time to head back to Africa, and then back to the mother base because we were attacked. But then back, back to Africa to kill this guy, and also to beat up this orphan because he's white. <laughs> Then you kidnap him, sending him to your anime prison to be indoctrinated. Then the game just shows him manspreading. When you get home, he's just like, I fucking hate you, dad. You only got one eye, you stupid bitch. I still will not eat my broccoli you give me. Oh, it's time to walk fast. <laughs> Meanwhile in Africa, the substantial administrator is honing his child-beating skills. You think your guns make you safe. Snake, I, I would hate to rain on this parade, but the, the entire base is sick. You've been beating children in Africa for a week now. Find out who's sick and quarantine them. You look it up and decide that only people with stupid names are going into gay baby jail, such as Doom Shark, Vengeful Crab, Sinister Gibbon, and Punching Vulture. It's obvious that this disease was the same one that we discovered in that warehouse, and we must find a way to stop it. You track down the only two men with information regarding- Okay then, fine! You traverse the planes to find the last escape, and he explodes? He's fine, don't worry about it. From his mangled corpse, we extract information regarding the one man who can cure this disease. And thus we set off to save our base. Along the way, we encounter normal cinematic shots from people who aren't horny and are faced down by a group of elite Illuminati snipers. Your battle lasts hours as you carefully fight for every inch of ground, occasionally shooting them in the face. Other times you must go through the rain, and some days you must feed on a tree frog. Uh, sorry, sorry, I, I was thinking of like a better game. Your mission is to infiltrate the jungle and capture all of the monkeys. So you walk past the fuckers and see this big mansion. You go into it, but realize it's filled with enemies. That sucks for them. You descend into the basement only to realize you basically found a wizard. Yo, I heard you got a problem, and I have a solution. But first, you need to shut the fuck up. The Illuminati is making a weapon that only hurts you if you speak a certain language. That's why they were testing out Nightcore in that guy's throat, poor bastard. Not to worry, though. The cure is weed. Ha have some weed. Hurry up and smoke it already, you Pizza Hut bitch. You take him on your shoulders because no one can walk in this universe, and you make your daring dash outside and into the helicopter. Well, fuck it, never mind! Pilots high as shit from all the weed! You wake up and everything's fine, I guess, but it's time to fight these fuckers again. Uh, this is the worst boss fight. They can be killed through normal gun emplacements. Why even bother making them? Then you leave, and everyone in the base injects weed. It's fine. Marijuana is probably the most dangerous drug. With your anime prison fully cured and your weeaboos at the ready, all that remains is to stop Jim Carrey's evil plan to probably commit ethnic cleansing. But first, Ocelot tells me I need to beat up a white child. This is my calling. Okay, fuck you, Dad, throwing me on top of flashbangs and shit. It's finally time to track down Jim Carrey and stop his giant robot in Afghanistan. And nothing will help me more than bringing along cripples and children. You make your descent and begin entering Illuminati Castle. To enter the base, you climb through dirt, over walls, past security cameras, and through the brain matter of most of the guards. Making it to the apex of the base, you prepare yourself for a final showdown with Jim Carrey. We are not so different, you and I. My face fell off, your arm fell off, L let's be groupies.
You need to get inside. My fucking van right now! Do you know why I quit my job as a successful Hollywood actor to run the Illuminati boss? Because I think I'll be forced to tell you. Think about your base, Snake. The people you've taken, or the methods you've used. Anime prison in the sea. Their anime rations. Big fucking bones. Night Corps. Anime prison. Weeaboo's sending him to your anime prison to be indoctrinated. There's one commonality between all of these things. Your obsession with anime has created all of this. And it's up to the Illuminati to destroy it. Look at the top super chatted channels on YouTube, Snake. They're all virtual YouTubers. Anime, which must be cleansed from this earth if we are to know peace. And for that snake, I have my language virus. I will wipe all of those who speak Japanese off of the face of this earth, cleansing it in a holy fire, the filth of which you are. Hey, you do shut the fuck up back there. I'm trying to drive. Untold evil will spring forth like a flowing waterfall if I do not silence their high voices and their hoarse dreams for the rest of time. I hope you understand, Snake, what I must do and what you must watch. We still have three hours of this car ride. I'm at McDonald's, do you want anything? So he takes you to the giant robot for some reason and is like, well, I might as well watch a boxing match. Go fight the fire guy, I guess, because I can't kill you myself. You know, Snake, I think I realized something about you. You're so strong that it would take a giant robot to kill you, metaphorically, of course. I'm being given real bad ideas by this ghost bitch, not gonna lie. I'm gonna go get up and walk over here now because seeing your ugly ass face makes me wanna fucking kill myself real bad, Snake. See ya. Who is doing this? Such a lust for revenge! Ooh! Oh ha ha, you've got your real effect in now that I'm a giant robot. Snake, you dumb bitch, try to cover me in water now, motherfucker! So Snake tries to escape while it grows a testicle on its left shoulder. Then the entire army comes to fight it, so it counters with a literal sword. Oh, I see you running away from me over there. Don't you think I forgot about you, you fucking cunt? Well, at least my day can't get any worse. I will finally have my revenge, Snake! You are all mine! Haha, <laughs> that was so good! I finally got him, uh, the guy, the, the, the dude I was chasing for the, the past three weeks. What do I do now? Cypher will rewrite the records. Wait a minute, is that cut doing the anime monologue that he's practiced for like nine years again? If I have to listen to this guy talk for more than 20 seconds, I will blow his brains out. Planted will infest the system! 17, 16, 50. You really aren't fucking getting this. You really don't understand. Major! Oh my fucking god, this clown is trying to talk to me. Dude, what are you even saying? Shut the fuck up. Snake, do you know how loud a car engine is? You're not being sneaky. So Snake drives to the boss fight location, and as it turns out, the boss is bad. You find an outpost with tanks in it, and then shoot him for 10 minutes. I thought that we established that they couldn't do that, so why even build the giant robot? I shot at him for so long that it became nighttime. Eventually, you kill the fucker, and the child that you beat for fun is contacted by a ghost. Oh shit, my giant testicle's falling off. That's how you know it's pretty bad. You get in the helicopter with your buddy Miller and set off to do one last act of revenge. Finish me. Kill me. Can do. <laughs> 
Out of ammo, sorry bro. So you walk away and notice a gunshot, and Emmerich's like, I did it! And it's time to go back to your base to <laughs> wrap up the story. The swole sergeant has won. Nothing now stands in the way of our band of misfits and the realization of their hyper-militarized army of radical weeaboos. We together look out into the skies of the future, of potential, and see the giant robot with his left testicle reattached. I guess we just took him. We together, with our enemies destroyed, and with the help of a giant robot, can overcome anything. Except for the rest of this game. Ay, 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 ay. Yes, as it turns out, the game actually isn't over yet, but the budget is. A company named Konami had shot developer Hideo Kojima in the face and said, why can't you make pachinko machines so they stop making the fucking game? What we got as a result is the software equivalent of a stillborn infant where none of the cutscenes have any context, so I'll try to get through them as fast as I can. <laughs> Someone on the base is probably a traitor. Miller suspects Emmerich, but he was a very functional horse when I was out in the field, so I don't know. I go back to my base and notice that something's wrong. The little fucking punching bag painted my entire base to be Ocelot just to spite me. I go to get some dirt on Emmerich by capturing his waifu that we forgot, and it just kind of does this. You try to interrogate quiet since Miller thinks she's the traitor, but she's literally incapable of speaking. I think he's a little stressed out. Hey boss, I thought that Miller wanted a vacation, so I grafted his face onto a dog. He shits on the floor now, it's great. You do like a billion side missions I don't care about. If this sounds like a disconnected checklist, that's because it is. Cutscenes and plot moments happen randomly and are completely disconnected from one another. Until this happens. There's been a mysterious disease outbreak on the base, no doubt caused by the hidden traitor. Snake moves in to investigate, forced to watch his men suffer within the quarantined halls. You reach the end of the base and realize the dark truth of this disease. It's the language virus, and it's airborne. If your men escape, they will surely infect others. The choice, therefore, becomes simple. of you! They were on your side. I'm on your side. And you turned them all to ashes. I can't bring you back to life, but I can rub your ashes all over my face. Mm, it feels so good. What the fuck is wrong with you, boss? Huey Emmerich, you stand accused of being the traitor and for yelling at people during a funeral. It can't be me. I, I was busy playing League of Legends. Death. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. You're the real simp snake. You're all just a bunch of black pill doomer cucks. Everyone can see it. Cause what the fuck is he saying? This leads me into the final twist of the game, a disconnected short wherein it is revealed that you were actually the boss's body double this whole time. This means that Jim Carrey practiced a speech for nine years and then gave it to the wrong guy. I hope you understand why the end of the game is seen as abrupt, and in fact, so is the end of the entire Metal Gear franchise. In the end, it wasn't Jim Carrey that killed Big Boss, it wasn't a giant robot, it wasn't the Human Torch, or psychic powers. It was a fucking pachinko machine. If you're an executive at Konami, I would suggest that you put your ear near a jet engine. But before we close, let's all appreciate the efforts of a hard-working man who didn't even want to make this game. We're sorry, Hideo Kojima.